Go. Go. Our body positioning. Our body positioning is not going to be centered in the motorcycle to go around the rut. We're going to get all sideways and we're probably going to pop out of it. So you're going to be in that attack position. You're going to be braking. And right before the rut, you're going to want to sit down, have your leg out beyond front of the bike so that you can steer the motorcycle with the front of the motorcycle. Elbow up. And the little secret to that is having your index finger up against the throttle tube or up against the grip so you're not getting those little itty bitty blisters and then that way your elbows are up. I never bothered with what my friends did. I just wanted to be a dirt bike rider. is we're not going to enter the rut. If we're on a four stroke and we have engine braking, we're not going to hold the clutch in as we go into the rut. Because more than likely we're gonna go from engine braking to neutral, and that neutral is gonna speed us up a half a mile an hour or even minutely smaller, and it's gonna kick us out of the rut and we're gonna mess up. So no touching the clutch. We're only gonna to touch the clutch after we apex and we're ready to accelerate. Yeah. Need, 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 need. Is you have to look ahead. You can't look down at the front of the motorcycle it's almost as if you're going through whoops you got to look ahead so the rut is exiting i'm going to be looking that direction and the motorcycle is going to follow that way because we use a lot of our body language and you don't steer a motorcycle with the front end if you ever watch somebody go around a corner more than more than not the bike is straight what i mean by that is the front end is straight with the rear wheel it's never really turned like this you're always here and then you're just moving at an angle through there so we need to focus on where we're going with where we're looking with our eyes the bike's going to follow This sounds a little silly, but go fast. Most ruts are at a, I guess, an incline. There's no real ruts besides straightaway ruts. Most corner ruts are at an incline. So you're gonna need to follow in that. And the only way to hold yourself on that embankment is to be accelerating, to have a certain amount of speed to hold you there. I'll try to go through a rut slowly. You're gonna be all weird and you're gonna pop out of. So we wanna keep our momentum up. And then the final tip is if we ever feel like we're getting off balance, you can use that front brake. If that front wheel starts to try to glide out of the rut, you just tap that front brake, not hard, but just barely. And it's going to slow the speed of that front wheel, slow you down, and it's going to fall back into that rut and then you're going to be able to line back up and be able to go through it. Sometimes you might be able to get away with dragging your rear brake. I don't recommend it because if you drag your rear brake on the entrance of a rut and you start leaning over, well what's going to happen is the rear end is going to start sliding and more than likely your front wheel is going to be in the rut but your rear wheel is going to be over the rut and we don't want that but you're going to want to make sure that you're entering straight once you're leaned over so don't grab that rear brake until you're already in the rut and leaned over i need to think about this what were my five things